Good. So um, I spoke a little bit earlier in the week. It's Mental Health Awareness Week. Uh, we've been sort of thinking a little bit about that. You probably had an email from me as well last weekend. I was just inspired to write down 20 tips for Mental Health Awareness Week, things that have helped me over the years. So if you didn't read and if you didn't get that, check your spam because it will be in your spam folder. Um, so, yeah, just just thinking about uh, yoga really is a practice for the mind as well as the body. We are very obviously focused on the body when we go to a yoga class because that is about the yoga poses. But um, and I'm a great believer and I feel, you know, my ethos as a, as a yoga teacher is it isn't just the poses. There's so much else to it. Um, there's the eight limbs of yoga. Um, the asanas, the poses, there's only one of those. There's seven others that don't have anything to do with holding, uh, you know, circus skill, acrobatic, gymnastic yoga poses. That's just kind of how we've interpreted it in the West. Um, we've become very focused on that sort of visual Instagram yoga pose. Um, but it's, it's only an eighth of the whole of yoga. Um, that includes some, just for example, uh, you know, I'm thinking about how you behave as in society, um, looking after yourself in lots of ways. There's even parts of it that talk about, you know, being clean. And, uh, you know, you might have heard about how yogis clean out their nasal passages and all this kind of thing, you know. Uh, there's also the breath, pranayama. There's meditation. Um, there's many parts of it. And uh, I think it's really important that we recognize and remember that. Um, obviously, you know, the poses are a way to use the body to help us to become more connected to it. You can't separate the mind and the body, it's all connected. So yoga is very much a holistic whole practice. So when we think about mental health, we can't just think about that on its own. We have to think about physical and same the other side. And in the West, what we tend to do is this. We tend to think when well, you go to see that person if you're not feeling great in your mind, the doctor if you're not feeling great in the body, but yoga's like, no, it's all connected. All those pathways, the energy body, the physical body, it's all this, um, so, intertwined so when we practice yoga we are thinking about our mental health as well and I'm sure if you've come to me uh, for a while now you'll know that I often remind us during the class just to have a little check in what's going on in the mind do you need to have an intention for your practice do you need to focus on what you're thinking about do you need to have a bit of control uh, over what you're thinking about so this is something we're going to be thinking about a little bit more this evening than perhaps normally. And I'm going to spend a little bit more time with you than normal meditating because um, that's obviously is very much more about the mind. Uh, so we're going to spend a few minutes at the beginning and the end of the class. I'm just going to teach you some very, very simple uh, meditation techniques that can help you. But let's begin, as always, with the breath because that is the key to to coming to center to feeling connected good so find your your comfortable place to sit and have a little sway on your sit bones good have a little roll through the shoulders and as you do take a few deep breaths Start to roll the other way. Notice any crunches in there as you move. Now bring your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes. Breathing in and out through the nose. I'm just feeling the hands connecting. Feeling the palms, the fingers, the thumbs. Allowing the eyelids to close and letting the eyes feel soft. Let the muscles of the face soften. And focus more and more deeply into your breath, into your inhale. Take a deep breath with me, inhale. And your exhale, take a deep exhale with me, breathing out. 
Inhaling deep. Exhaling long. Being aware of your posture, being aware if you need to lift up through the spine a little more. If you need to make space under your ribs, just lift to create more space in the abdomen for the breath. Being aware if you need to just squeeze the shoulder blades together to open up across the heart and the chest. Again, making space for the breath. Scanning through your body in your own way and in your own time, exploring your body, each breath an opportunity to check in with a different part. Are you holding yourself tightly where you don't need to? Are you holding tension that's unnecessary? If you are, just let it go. Are you noticing any sensations in your body at all? Are you having any experiences in your body today, whether they be pleasant or unpleasant, comforting or uncomfortable? Where does your breath lead you to? Where does your breath guide you to in your body? What is your body asking you to notice this evening? Does your body want more acceptance? Or does it want more attention? Does your body need your approval, perhaps? Does your body need love? Does it need care? Does it need kindness? Does it need compassion? Stay with your breath. Becoming more and more connected into your body. And we'll all be having different experiences now as we take our awareness to our bodies. When we're new to yoga, we can sometimes feel it's a bit strange to be asked to connect to your body because sometimes we can feel that we're living Entirely in the mind, I know the first time my yoga teacher in my, in my teenage years asked me how I felt in my body. I didn't know how to answer that question at 19. I hadn't been taught or hadn't experienced my body in that way. It was just a functional thing and I was living in my head. Busy, 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 drama, drama, drama in there. So the more we practice yoga, the more we learn to become aware of the body. So take some deeper breaths. Take a deep breath in with me. Deeper, deeper, go deeper. And take a long exhale with me. Release more, keep going, keep going. We're then gonna tune in with OM. So we'll take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace to you all. Now place your left hand on your heart. 
center and bring your right hand on top. And I'm just gonna ask you to chant a mantra with me, which is so beneficial when we're thinking about our mental health and wellness. And that is in Sanskrit, Ishvara Prani Dana. This means I surrender completely to the divine. It's basically offering up life, offering up our lives as individuals to the divine, just saying, okay, just take me, do what has to be done. I accept it all. I surrender. I give up trying to fix things, trying to control things, trying to manipulate my life and make things happen to keep me feeling comfortable and okay. And I surrender to that. And gosh, it's such a wonderful feeling when we can do that. And when we can be relaxed with our lives, whatever's going on. So I'm going to say this really slowly. If you could just repeat each part and then we'll say it three times together. Okay. So it's ish, vara, ish, vara, prani, dana, prani, dana. Okay, so again, ish, vara, plani, dana. Wonderful. So if you can, close your eyes. We're just going to say it three times. Really connect to this idea of being able to surrender to whatever's going on in your life right now that you do not like and you're not happy about and you wish it wasn't that way. Let's just see if we can put it out there a little bit to just help us to surrender to the divine plan. Take a deep breath in. Ishvara prani dana. Ishvara prani dana. One more time. Inhale. Ishvara prani dana. Good. So come to lie down on your backs. We're going to go super easy into this tonight. So come to lie down onto your back <clears throat> and take your feet a little bit apart have your hands by your sides palms are going to go up so we're just taking a little shavasana and it's another opportunity to check into the breath long slow deep breath in long slow deep breath out let the body sink heavily become aware again of the parts of the body that perhaps just have that conditioned tension in them that doesn't need to be there and just say to yourself, why be tense right now? I'm just not doing anything. I'm going to do some yoga in a minute, but right now I'm just chilling. Let's, let's just let the body chill too. Good. Now bring the legs together, reach the arms up above the head, interlace the fingers, push the palms up towards the ceiling and down into your toes squeeze 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 all the way up all the way down deep deep breaths and then just focus on the right release the hands actually and just reach up through your right fingers and down into your right toes you become a much much longer length on that side keep breathing into the belly other side left fingers left toes deep breath in Hand out. Right side. Left side. Good. Now have a go at reaching into your right toes and then into your left hand. So it's kind of a diagonal stretch from one from the right hip through the right, through the, sorry, through the left ribs and all the way up. And then they go the other way, left toes right hand so it's that diagonal stretch left hip up into the right ribs wonderful release it there bring the hands back down by your sides good Tuck, bring the right knee in and wrap the hands around the right knee squeeze that right knee into your chest holding here just opening up very gently through the right hip start to rotate that right foot one way and that the other way brilliant from there we'll just move the hands a little bit down so they're sort of about mid chin 
and draw your belly in and as you inhale lift up look down to your left toes you could pull your left toes back we're going to hold it here really engaging the abdominals feeling that core strength to hold you if you feel like your right knee is going a little bit out just pull it back in slightly so it's coming to about midline if this is too much release it otherwise stay a little longer and one more inhale and exhale slowly lower down change the legs around bring the left knee in push the right heel away pull the right toes back have a bit of a rotate with your left foot one way back the other way round and round good and then squeeze that left knee in more and more so the thigh is trying to drop down doesn't matter where it is but if it can squeeze it down towards your belly knee and towards your chest good from there we're going to just take the hands a little bit further down the shin and inhale lift up again looking to your right big toe if you can get up high enough again watch this left knee doesn't roll out just bring it back in slightly looking to the right toe to hold keep your shoulders down really draw that belly in become really aware of your navel good see if you can take it a little bit higher for the last breath and then we'll release it down good let that left leg go long bring the hands back down to your sides drop the head over look to your right so you're just turning the head to the right right ear down towards the floor inhale come to center and exhale go to the left inhale exhale to the right inhale center exhale left inhale center exhale right good coming back centering yourself back bring both knees in hug both knees in now squeeze that's going to release the lower back have a little little bit of a sway side to side wonderful then bring one hand onto each kneecap we're going to keep the knees together as we circle now so it's not so much for the hips it's more for the lower back so you're going to feel that massaging over your lower back you can keep your belly drawn in here just keep that core awareness as you move start to go the other way remember to keep focusing into that breath that all important breath keep the knees in take the arms out wide keep the palms up we're going to take a deep inhale and then exhale drop the knees and ankles to the right turn the head to the left and as you hold here close your eyes focus on your breath and just come back to an awareness of your mind what are you thinking what are you thinking right now are you here? Are you present? Are you with yourself and your body and your yoga mat? Or are you somewhere else? Is that somewhere else a good place to be? Is it somewhere you want to be? Or is it somewhere that's a bit negative maybe? A bit worried? A bit stressed? A bit scared perhaps? If it is anywhere that you feel might be detrimental to your mental well-being, then bring yourself back and be here stay here with me and take a deep breath in with me and a long exhale with me good but then I'm going to inhale draw the belly in bring the knees to center exhale drop over to the left turn the head to the right feel a stretch through the side body as well as a twist in the spine let the head drop over as far as you can breathe close your eyes and again have a body awareness now just have a check in with your body are you tense here do you need to be tense is there a way that you could move the body slightly to make it feel more relaxing 
if your knees are maybe up, you're having to hold them tightly there, then just adjust a little bit, maybe adjust the feet, just let yourself relax into it. This is a warm up, it's meant to be chilled, it's meant to be nice and not too strong, just yet. So we're going to inhale, come to centre. Now you've got two options. You're going to take that again, drop over to the right, or you're going to extend out your left leg. Oh, I've got this bolster in the way. So you're extending out your left leg. See if you can, some of you will find you can reach the left toes into your right hand. That isn't going to be available for everyone. You might just extend the leg out wherever, or it might reach up towards the toes. It doesn't have to. Turn the head to the left. So if you've got, if you're extending out that left leg, push into the heel and feel the stretch all the way up the back of the leg. We're all getting right into your glutes now. Good stretch for the sciatic nerve. Great way to get into and soothing down your nervous system. Releasing any lower back pain, hopefully, but obviously being careful if you feel any twinging or discomfort. It wants to feel good, not painful. Couple of deep breaths. Again, take a deep breath in with me, breathing in. And take a long exhale. And then release the toes. Bring that left foot back to meet your right. So your feet are and legs are together. Inhale, come to center, drawing the belly in as you do. Exhale over to your left. And you'll stay here if this feels like enough or you'll extend the right leg out. And maybe take hold of the right foot with the left hand. Turn the head, look to your right thumb. And again, you don't have to take hold of the foot. You don't even have to have the legs straight. It's entirely up to you. But if you are holding the foot or pushing it, lengthening it, really push into that right heel. That's going to, you'll feel that. You'll feel it in the back of your knee. You'll probably feel it up your hamstring, perhaps around the side of the thigh as well. And getting deep right into your glutes, getting deep into the tissues now. We're going to do that once more on each side, but with the breath now. So we'll flow. We'll inhale, release the right leg, draw into center. Exhale over to the right, extend your left leg. Inhale, come to center. Exhale to the left, extend your right leg. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Come back to center. Take hold of each kneecap. We're going to circle now. So you'll have felt that a little bit in your hips, that warm up. So just have a circle out to release any tension in the hips. Also, a chance just to get to know your hips a little bit, what's happening in there. And maybe so ask yourself that question how does it feel? to be in your body? How does it feel to be in your mind? Do you sometimes feel, hug the knees in like you're a bit stuck in there? Some people can feel like it's a prison, it's a trap inside the mind. You really don't wanna feel like that. It wants to, to be a joy to be you and to be inside you should be a joy. So yeah, just be, um, just be aware of, of how it's feeling mentally for you at the moment. Take the hands behind the thighs and rock back and forth a couple of times. Good, we're gonna come straight round to all fours. So coming round, find all fours. Just reorganize myself here a minute. It's extremely hot in this room. So if I look like I'm glowing, I am. <laughs> And it's good for you because I'm so hot. It means I can't go super crazy here tonight because I will literally pass out. So we're going to spread the fingers, push down into the, to the palms. Uh, look back, make sure your knees are where you want them to be. Inhale, take the tailbone high, lift up. And exhale, tuck under. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, tucking under. <clears throat> now bring your right foot forwards. Inhale, bring that right foot forwards. Lunge into it. Come up onto your fingertips and just hold it here. Sink down into this right heel. Breathe deep. Now close your eyes. If you need to pop something under your left knee to stay here, pop a blanket maybe under your knee. Breathe in deep. 
<sighs> See what you can release here, scanning through your body. Yeah, bring the hands flat to the floor. We're gonna go through all fours and swing that right leg up. So inhale, take that right leg up and look to the sky. And then exhale, bring that right knee down. Good, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Left foot's coming forward, sink into the left heel. Looking up, come up onto your fingertips, hold. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Sinking into your left heel. Wonderful. Feel like you're in the thighs, we're trying to squeeze together. Feel like your heart's lifting up away from your thigh, like you're trying to peel up and lengthen through the spine. Yeah, we're then gonna bring the hands flat to the mat. And we're gonna inhale, slide that left foot back, take it up, looking up. And then exhale, bring that knee down. Take the, the knees a little bit apart again, tuck the toes under and inhale, come up to down dog. Keep the tailbone high as you exhale, ground into the hands and the feet, squeeze the underarms together, draw the belly in, gazing back between the knees or between the ankles. Keep gazing back, keep lifting your tailbone high, keep length in your spine as you inhale, come up onto your toes and exhale to lower it down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lower down. Once more, inhale, coming up. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Good, now take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, come forwards to plank. Shoulders above the wrists. As you inhale, go straight back to down dog. Exhale, forwards to plank. Inhale, down dog. One more time. Exhale, forwards to plank. Inhale, down facing dog. Right, so you drop to your knees now. Just come down to your knees and have a break, okay? While you just, I just want you to watch this. Okay, so a little bit of um, guidance on plank. Obviously, you no, know, haven't seen you all for a while now. <laughs> um, some of you never have, and then probably miles away. But uh, those of you that, um, you know, I just want to have a little check-in that we're not getting into bad habits while I'm not there to poke you around. So you're going to come into your plank. Well, in a minute you are. That You just stay where you are for now. So what is easy to happen is this you can end up a bit like this you're sort of heading into an up dog and it's really strong on your lower back it's not good it's not a good alignment to be in it's taking too much strain so you need to be lifted now what's really good a good sort of method to help you feel because it's really hard to know isn't it you know where you are unless you've got a mirror <laughs> or someone there i know some of you were doing this as a family so you could um sort of poke each other around a bit and pull each other about but what's good is if you look down you should be able to see your feet if you've gone if you could only see your toes or only part of your feet it means your belly's probably too low and you can't fully see Okay, so you want to be able to look back and see the whole of your foot and your toes. So from all fours, come up into plank and just get to where you would normally be, where it feels natural for you. Because obviously in plank, we tend to look down to the fingers or slightly up. But look back, look back. Can you see your feet or are your knees and your belly in the way? <laughs> and if they are, pull up a little bit. And you'll probably also feel that in your spine. You're going to feel that uh, benefiting. It's going to feel more neutral in your spine. So we'll take an inhale and then exhale. Sink down to your knees and come back into a child. Bring the forehead down. And just keep the hands outstretched. Get a nice back bend. So as we move through the practice this evening, just have a think now and then. When we, we often flow through plank, but just try and be a little bit aware that that plank is well aligned and that you're not putting too much pressure on your lower back. Inhale, come to all fours, tuck the toes under, exhale, down facing dog. From down dog, we're gonna bend the knees, look forwards. Inhale, jump or step to the front of the mat and exhale down into a fold. From there, bend the knees, inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down 
to the heart. Good. Closing the eyes. Brilliant. Close your eyes. Just take a moment here. And I just want you to mentally repeat that mantra again. That mantra that's just so good for our mental well-being. That surrender mantra. So don't worry about getting it right. The universe will know what your intention is. So just mentally repeating to yourself, Ishvara Pranidana. Ishvara Pranidana. Ishvara Pranidana. And you could even say it to yourself in English as well. I surrender completely to the divine. Surrender completely to the universal plan for me and my life. And even if you only manage to surrender a little tiny bit tonight, it will help. It will help to ease so much of our suffering mentally is caused by trying to fix and control, rescue and change situations, people and things that we can't. It's like trying to move a mountain. You can't change what's going on. But you can change your own approach and surrendering and peace always a good one a good one to start with so we're going to flow blink your eyes open keep that energy with you as you inhale lift the arms up exhale down into a fold right foot inhale step it back hold the breath in for that lovely plank where you're not going out of alignment look back to your toes quickly Exhale, come all the way down, knees first or just all the way chaturanga. Inhale, push to Bhujangasana, elbows in, shoulders down, cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, down, facing dog. We're going to take the right leg on an inhale, bring it through between the hands, look up. Get it there, yank it there if it doesn't reach, just pull it forwards. Exhale, bring your left foot in, tuck your nose towards your knee. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, lift the arms again. Exhale, down into a fold. Left foot, inhale, step it back and hold. The breath in to go to plank. Right foot goes back, push into your heels, belly in. Exhale, knees first, all straight down. Chaturanga to the mat, point the toes. Inhale, Bhujangasana, elbows in, shoulders down. Tuck the toes, exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes forwards, looking up. Exhale, right foot comes in. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the heart. One round, deep breath in. Long exhale. Second round, inhale, lift the arms. Exhaling to fold. Right leg, inhale, lower the knee. Ex sorry, hold the breath in, plank. And exhale, come down. Inhaling, cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, right foot, look up if you can, lengthen. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the heart. Left side, inhale. Reach up, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot goes back. Hold the breath in for plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga, point the toes, push into tops of feet and thighs. To inhale, come up, just to wherever suits you in cobra. You don't have to come up this high. Top the toes, exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes forward, look up. Exhale, right foot comes in. 
Inhale, lifting up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Close the eyes. Have a check in. How are you feeling? What's happening in the body and the mind? Feel there is a two way connection. You can actually visualize it like energy signals running from your brain to your body constantly, keeping each other in check, checking out what's happening, signals saying, be careful, emergencies, no, it's all right, relax. Or for some people who suffer with anxiety or have a lot of stress, then there's a constant signal going, saying, careful, careful, watch out, fear, ah, it's all maybe going to be awful. And that's very hard and very exhausting way to live. But that's the way a lot of people in our society do live. And let's hope that this, um, this huge shift that we're going through together in this lockdown will help people, more and more people, to recognise how insane it is to be charging around all the time like a loony when we can have a beautiful peaceful life let's see where this leads us in a few years time a couple more deep breaths we're going to take one more round okay so we're going to get really energized with this inhale to lift up exhale to fold right leg inhale hold it plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale down dog inhale right foot slip up exhale left foot tuck in inhale reach all the way up and then go straight back down as you exhale inhale left foot holding the breath plank exhale to lower inhale to cobra exhale down dog left foot inhale right foot exhale inhale to lift and exhale coming down wonderful close your eyes here and if you need to rest now or at any point during the practice, just bring yourself down to child's pose. Good. Brilliant. So bring your hands down to your sides. We're going to inhale, swing the arms up. And as you do, lift your left knee. Just hold it there for a moment if you can. Exhale. Draw the belly in. Inhale. As you exhale, step that left foot back and plant it down onto the floor. So it's fully planted down. The foot's at a slight angle, about 45 degrees. Right foot still facing the end of your mat. Now feel that your right hip is drawing back. Your left hip is pulling forwards and maybe sink a little bit more now into this. Arms stay up in line with ears. Draw the belly in, perhaps looking slightly up. Hold, deep breaths. Take an inhale to open up the elbows. So the elbows are shoulder level to the, um, yeah, elbows and shoulders are level. That's it, fingers up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come down slowly. Take your hands either side of your right foot. So if hands have come down, fingertips on the floor, let the head go. See if it can come down onto the inside of the right foot. Keep pulling that right hip back, gazing to your left toe if you can. Draw your belly in and up to hold. And then ground into both feet, super strong. Let that right quad be working super strong. We're going to push to inhale, come back up, lifting the arms up with you into that cactus pose again. And now exhale, open it out to Virabhadrasana 2. So you're bending into your right knee. You've taken the left hip out now. So you're aligned to the long side of your mat. Tuck your tailbone in, draw your belly in. Look to your right middle finger. Look back, make sure your left hand's where you want it to be. Inhale, straighten up your right leg as you bring your palms together above your head and look to your thumbs. 
As you exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Bend back into your right knee and take your arms back out, shoulder level. Again, inhale, straighten that right leg, lift the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, bring the hands slowly down to your heart. Bend that right knee, arms go out, Virabhadrasana too. Once more, inhale, lifting up. Think of Tai Chi, exhale slowly down, bend into that right knee, hands go out wide, good, holding it here, wonderful. We're then going to inhale, bring this left arm up and over, bring it to your right hand, take both hands down to the mat, step back to down facing dog. Good, so coming back to down dog, gazing back between the knees, back between the ankles, we're just going to hold it here. Draw the belly in. If you need to come to the knees, just take that. If you need to take a child, you could come down. We're just going to be here another couple of breaths. But if you need that option, do you take it. Brilliant. From there, we're going to bend the knees and look forwards. Inhale to step to the front of the mat. Bring the hands onto the shins and lengthen up. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly fold. Bend the knees slightly, inhale, coming up, bring the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart, close the eyes and breathe. Good, an opportunity again. Check in body, check in mind, feelings, emotions, what's happening. How does it feel to be you today? Allow it all to be there. The good, the bad, the positive, the negative. Just welcome it in. It's what yoga is all about. It isn't about being some perfect being. It's about welcoming it all in, all the imperfections, working with it all never denying or bypassing any of that that's negative or seen to be negative in our society. Blink the eyes open, bring the hands down. We're gonna inhale, lift the right knee up as you lift your arms up in line with your ears. Hold it there, point the toe down, exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend the left knee, step that right foot back. If it didn't quite happen like that, don't worry, just get into it any way you can. Bend a little deeper into that left knee. Make sure the knee's above your ankle or heel. You might want to step back a bit further maybe, or you might want to step in a bit. Make sure your right heel is firm down to the floor. So that back foot, draw the belly in. Pull your left hip back, push your right hip slightly forward so you feel aligned here. Take a deep inhale, maybe slightly looking up. And exhale, start to reach forwards. Bring the hands down either side of the left foot and see if the head will let go enough to look back to your right big toe. Hold. So you might be feeling that already in your left thigh, the top of the quad, feeling that strongly already. Remembering we're trying to release. And with each breath, we're getting stronger. Each breath, the body's getting to learn. We're educating the body. We're trying to help it to be different, to release tension, to manage itself, to find balance. That's what yoga is so good at. We're going to really push down into both feet now. Feel this left quad engaging as you draw your belly in and inhale. Lift the arms as you come up. Good, and then exhale, open it out to Virabhadrasana too. We'll take the arms up, we're gonna inhale straight in the left leg. Look up to your thumbs and exhale, bring the hands down slowly to the heart and open it out. Follow the left thumb with your gaze, inhale. Straightening your left leg, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. 
Good, holding it there. And then bringing your right arm over to meet your left. Take both hands down to the mat, lift up that right heel and take it to plank. It might be all fours for you, that's fine. Just have another little check, look back. Can you see your feet? Have you dropped too far? Look slightly ahead there. Once you've looked back, I want you to draw your belly and push into your heels. Look slightly ahead so your neck's completely neutral. Inhale. And then see if it's possible to exhale down through your elbows or lower your knees first. If you land in a heap, don't worry. <laughs> Inhale, coming to cobra. And exhale, we'll go back onto the knees. Sliding all the way back, forehead comes down. From there, we're going to come up to all fours and as you inhale bring the right foot between the hands again wonderful so this next part has two sections to it okay number one should be fine for everyone number two is going to be taking it a little bit strong okay so just be aware of what you're capable of um, it isn't going to be for everyone particularly if you've got knee problems you might want to pop something under your uh, back knee before we start to move okay um, bring your left hand firm to the floor bring your right hand onto your knee start to rotate so twist hopefully available to you all even if the right hand stays on the knee or thigh the right arm can lift and look up to your thumb wonderful now those of you that want to go a bit deeper you're going to bring that left foot in so the back foot's coming in you're going to see if you can take hold of it and then start to really lean back so this isn't really a beginner's pose i'm taking you a little bit stronger tonight but you don't have to do that okay you don't have to do that at all you could try you could see what happens some of you i'm sure will find that available so just we're going to stay here for three four and five good release that foot lift the arm back up on the inhale and exhale bring that hand down good now bring one hand at a time up onto your right knee and then inhale lift your arms up sink as low as you can if you've got back problems don't sink so low stay quite upright and bring the foot back so your kind of body's in more of a sort of right angular kind of uh posture rather than this more deep sort of a curve that we've got in the spine from there you've got your arms up take an inhale then exhale bring your hands down interlace your fingers push the backs of the hands down over your glutes see if you can look up choose a gaze point and then see if the arms will start to come away from the body so you're looking up you're sinking shoulder blades are squeezing together we're going to stay here for two really opening the heart for three four and five release the hands inhale look straight ahead look up lift the arms up sorry and exhale bring the hands down go back to all fours stay here for a moment just let the spine and the hips neutralize maybe have a sway some of you will want to go back to child because that's a lovely stretch so that's going to be great Others will want to tuck the toes in and take a down facing dog. Wonderful. Some of you will stay in child and enjoy that. Some of you will stay in down dog. Others, we're going to vinyasa, deep breath in. Exhale forwards to plank and lower. Inhale, push up to cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, down facing dog. Good. From there, lower to the knees or come up to the knees if you're in child onto the fingertips bring the left foot forwards same on this side okay so right hand plant to the floor left hand comes onto the knee start to rotate so you're feeling that really nice twist in the spine just be aware of how that's feeling for you sink you might even want to put your hand on your left hip and just sink it down watch this left knee doesn't roll out try and keep it square lift the left arm to hold and then you're going to stay there Oh, you're going to bring that right foot in. Finding it is often the difficult part. It's there somewhere. And then roll it back. Open the chest, open the heart, look up. Sink through the hips to hold for two, three, four, and five. Release that foot down. Inhale, lift your left arm. And exhale. 
bring that left hand back down to the floor come up onto your fingertips one hand at a time comes up onto the left knee again up to you pull it back slightly maybe even pull the foot so you've got this right angular feeling in the pose or you're going to sink deep and try and find more of a sort of half moon feeling in the back of the body inhale lift the arms up look up if you can exhale bring the hands down interlace the fingers behind you inhale push the backs of the hands down squeeze the shoulder blades together stay there or see if the hands will start to come away from the lower back good so this is a beautiful pose to open up and release from your heart Gosh, the heart really does cause a lot of the mental pain that we feel as human beings, doesn't it? So if you've got anything in your heart that needs to go, any heartbreak, recent or from the past, any grief, any loss, bereavement, then really breathe into this through your heart space. Good, we'll release the hands, look straight ahead, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down again. Go to all fours, hold. Have a little sway. Wonderful. And again, you've got three options. Go back into child's, just rest there and support your spine. Go back into down dog. And rather than a vinyasa, those of you that want to go a bit deeper this time, step your feet a little bit closer together. Hold down dogs, you're still lifting high. Now inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling and then take your right heel down towards your left sit bone. Keep your right knee up. Good, so you're trying to get your uh, leg as high as possible. And now take a little twist, see if you can look under the right armpit. Keep the weight even through the hands, but rotate the shoulders, draw the belly in. Keep that left leg strong. Look back down to the floor as you inhale, lift the right leg high and exhale, slowly bring it down a little bit closer. So it's a little bit closer to the left foot. Inhale, take the left leg high and then lower the left heel down to the right hip. Opening up, lift the left knee up. Look up and under your left arm. Keep that right leg strong, keep the hands even, keep the belly strong. Good. Look back down, inhale, lift your right, left leg high, sorry, and exhale, lower, good. Lower to the knees or come up to the knees. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck under. Inhale. And exhale. Come down onto your forearms. From here. See if you can step your right foot back. We're going to come into Shishulasana, it's the low plank. And then step your right foot back. Sorry, left foot back. So you've got both feet back. Good. Make sure again, look back, make sure you can see your feet. Otherwise, it means you've gone too low. Don't end up like this. You want to be a little bit higher. Good. Draw the belly in, look to your thumbs. We're going to hold here for two, three, four and five come down to the knees have a little wiggle just do what you need to do release out the arms we've got one more that's just a little bit stronger you know you don't have to do this you don't have to do this at all or you could do it just for a breath but if you can step the right foot back step the left foot back take an inhale and then slightly drop the hips to the right inhale come to center exhale slightly to the left Inhale, right. Exhale, left. In and out. Once more. In and out. Good. Now lower yourself down into sphinx. Good. Huh. I need a fan. I'm going to bring a fan with me next time. <laughs> I'm going to imagine one is just here. So we've got the forearms forwards, elbows beneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers. Uh, just point the toes, point the toes so you're really long through the legs. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, close the eyes. Ah, lovely, good. Let the ankles drop out a little bit maybe, they might want to do that. Feel space across your heart, your chest. Good. 
staying here if this feels like enough for you or and only if your back's okay don't do this if your back isn't okay you're going to keep the shoulders down and then come up straightening the arms look ahead or slightly up feel yourself sinking down into your pelvis into your thighs pointing the toes Deep breaths. Wonderful, one more inhale. And exhale, lower back, come down, make a pillow with your hands, rest the forehead to one side, rest the cheek, sorry, to one side. And then when you're ready, come up through all fours and sit back round. <clears throat> Good, we're just gonna have a sip of water. Good, so come to sit with your feet just in front of you. Good, bring the heels slightly in and wrap the hands around your knees. So just cup, cup each knee. Have the feet and knees quite close. Lift up on the inhale, shoulders back and down, draw the belly in. Exhale, sinking back, but don't crash into it. Keep up. Now, stay here. This could be enough. It might even be too strong, in which case, just come into a little hug. Okay, so that's your modification if you're not feeling like that's good for your back. We're just going to modify here, okay? We're going to join you there in a moment. Okay, so those of you that want a bit of a cool workout, it's going to be two options, okay? So you're going to, you can hold it, sorry, three options. Number one is stay here, gentle, but still working the core. Number two is arms parallel to the floor and lift, okay? So we'll do this together. So let's just all stay here now for two, three, four, and five bring the feet down lift up so you can do that again you can skip it by coming into the hug okay or you're going to lean back again bring the arms so you're, they're parallel to the floor so you're going to do this same one again or if you want to go stronger you're going to lift your arms up on the inhale you're then going to exhale drop and tap to the right inhale lift up exhale tap to the left inhale lift come out whenever you need exhale right inhale exhale left inhale exhale right inhale exhale left inhale so that's three you might want to leave it see if you can do four inhale to the left inhale and five inhale and tap inhale good come down bring the feet down wrap the hands around your knees bring the feet right back in inhale lengthen up and exhale just let yourself tip forwards bring the forehead right down to hold good And then just slowly creep up, bring your hands to your sides and lengthen your legs out. Brilliant. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, bring your hands down to the right side. Inhale, lifting up to centre. Exhale to your left side. Inhale, lift up. As you do, bring your right foot in so it's slightly bent. And exhale to your right, taking your left elbow over your right knee, if possible. We're going to hold here for two, three, four, and five. Release that right leg. Inhale, lift the arms up. Bring the left foot in and exhale to your left. Left hand behind, right elbow, left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Holding, draw the right toes back for two, 
three, four, and five. Release. Come onto your back. Draw your knees in. Give them a squeeze. And then lower the feet down just in front of your sit bones. Bring the hands to your sides. We're going to energize the spine with an inhale to lift up vertebra by vertebra into a back bend. Now, if this is too much tonight, you're just going to ease in and out. You're going to just literally lift up and down through the pelvis. So it's super, super gentle. If you're okay, you're going to come up. You're going to interlace your fingers, push the, palm, push the backs of the hands down towards the heels and hold. Wonderful. And release to lower. Good. Now bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop out to the sides. Sutta Baddha Konasana. Bring the hands to your sides, palms up. Release the whole of the spine. Completely letting go through the back of the body. Good. Just allowing yourself to enjoy this pause. And then bringing the knees back together. Walk the feet out to the sides of the mat and just let the knees drop in. Let the arms come a little bit further away. Have a wriggle, have an adjust to hold. Chins in towards the chest. And just give yourself permission now to let go. Give yourself permission to practice Ishvada, Pranidhana, surrender. Let go. Wonderful. And then hug your knees in, give them another squeeze. Bring your arms to the inside of your knees, take your peace fingers around your big toes and take the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling for Ananda Balasana. Happy baby, have a little bit of a sway. And breathe deeper, deeper still. Stay here, stay present. Be with me, be with me here. Take a deep breath in with me through the nose. Take a long exhale with me out through the nose. And then release. And any other movements you want to make, anything at all, perhaps you want to do a few more rotations through the knees like we did at the beginning. Perhaps a twist would feel nice. Perhaps you know that a spinal twist would be just what the body needs. Or perhaps you just feel fine and ready to come to Shavasana. So just take your time. We're going to do some Shavasana relaxation. Then we're going to come up and just take a few moments of meditation before we finish. So come to lie, have the feet slightly apart, the hands by the sides, palms up. If you fall asleep and miss the meditation bit, don't worry. You can watch it again on the replay. Tuck the chin into the chest, close the eyes. And breathing in, and breathing out.
making any other adjustments you need to make to feel comfortable. To be able to relax. And take your awareness around the body. I'm going to take the awareness to the to the right foot. My right foot is relaxed. Awareness to the right calf. My right calf is relaxed. Awareness to the right thigh. My right thigh is relaxed. Awareness to the left foot. My left foot is relaxed. Awareness to the left calf. My left calf is relaxed. Awareness to the left thigh. My left thigh is relaxed. Awareness to the hips. My hips are relaxed. Awareness to the hold of the back. My back is relaxed. Awareness to the whole of the front. My front is relaxed. Awareness to the tops of the shoulders. The tops of my shoulders are relaxed. Awareness to the right hand. My right hand is relaxed. Awareness to the right arm. My right arm is relaxed. Awareness to the right shoulder. My right shoulder is relaxed. Awareness to the left hand. My left hand is relaxed. Awareness to the left arm. My left arm is relaxed. Awareness to the left shoulder. My left shoulder is relaxed. Awareness to the head. My head is relaxed. Awareness to the face. My face is relaxed. Awareness to the whole body. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed.
So gently bringing awareness back into your relaxed, heavy, chilled out body. Making movements just to feel yourself connecting back into your hands and back into your feet. Have a stretch, reach the arms up, stretch, 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 stretch. And then roll over to your right side, just pause there for a moment, maybe use your right arm as a pillow. And then slowly, gently come up to sit. Come up, keep your eyes closed, get comfortable. Bring your arms, bring your hands onto your knees and bring your index finger, middle finger together. Roll the shoulders back and down. Focus back into your breath. Feel that the whole body is still relaxed. And we're going to meditate for a few minutes. I'm going to teach you a very simple meditation technique, which can really help. You may resonate with it. You may not, but I hope, I hope you enjoy it for the few minutes that we sit now. So it's very simple. Part one is we're just, as we inhale, we're going to mentally say in. And as we exhale, we're going to mentally say out. In. Out, in, out. So just keep repeating the mantra in, out, over and over as you breathe. And just notice whenever your mind wanders away. So it's not about having no thoughts. It's about noticing when the thoughts come. So as soon as the thought comes and starts to take you away from here, come back in, out, in, out. If the thoughts are quite distracting and you end up getting so caught up in them that you don't notice that it's happening. When you do notice, eventually, don't judge, just come back. And again, begin again on in, out. Lengthen the in-breath, lengthen the out-breath. You could feel like you're singing your in mantra and your out mantra, lengthening it out to be the length of your breath, perhaps. And that's all you're doing. Nothing else, nothing else. No analyzing it, no wondering what's supposed to be happening. Just keep saying mentally in. Out. We're going to practice for one minute in silence. So just see what happens. Just have the experience. See what happens. If your mind was wandered far, come back in. 
out. Now, if that feels good, if that feels just fine, just keep going. There's no need to try this alternative if that feels fine. But if you feel you would like to try something else very similar with a slight addition, you're simply going to lengthen out your breath as well by saying on the inhale, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. So just very slow. And you can lengthen your breath out to suit you. So you can make that count quite fast if that's what it needs, or you could really lengthen two, three, four. So the breath becomes very long. Again, notice when the thoughts come and just bring yourself back to your in, out, or your in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Another few rounds. And there's, again, no reason for you to move if you're enjoying that, if that feels wonderful, if you feel like you've reached a peaceful place, then please just stay, just stay and continue with that. Reach out an arm and switch me off, and turn the volume down on me and just enjoy that for a few more, well, as long as you like. You could sit for hours working with that meditation. Before we move completely, just, just maybe setting an intention to try that again. Uh, meditation is like anything. It's like yoga. It's like maths. It's like Chinese. The language, it takes practice. You can't just walk in, down and sit down in a classroom where someone's teaching you um, how to speak Japanese and be able to do it. And the same as you wouldn't with meditation or yoga. It takes time. It takes a long time. It can take years but it's not about being able to do it. It's about practicing it, the journey, the, the evolution of your experience. So remember that whenever you say to yourself, I can't do it. It's like, well, I can't do maths, but I still have to try because um, I have to homeschool my children. <laughs> so good. So we're going to just have that intention and don't beat yourself up if that was a, a struggle and honor and feel grateful for an experience if that was okay for you. Bring the hands together at the heart. And we're going to chant Om to tune out. So take a deep breath in. Om. Oh. 
Shanti, Shanti, peace, peace. Just lower your head and blink your eyes open towards the floor. Bringing a smile to your face if that feels like where you're at right now. And then lift your head when you're ready. Namaste. Thank you deeply. Thank you. I'm so grateful to you for um, joining me in this yoga online experience every time. I um, feel blessed that you come. So thank you again. <laughs>